Good morning to all the faculty and delegates. Myself, Dr. Dipanchu Suhag. I am a second year resident in Department of Radiology from MMU Mulana. My topic for today's paper is Contrast Enhanced CT Evaluation of Oral Cavity Carcinoma. SCC is the most common malignancy in the oral cavity. Other oral cavity mal malignancies include minor salivary gland tumors, lymphomas, and mesenchymal tumors. Imaging of the oral cavity and its subsites is complex. Imaging assists in accurate staging and planning of appropriate treatment. It benefits by allowing necessary surgical or radiation therapy with a positive outcome. Knowing anatomy and routes of spread of SCC helps in diagnostic assessment, disease classification, and optimal treatment planning. The aims and objective of this study is to evaluate the role of CECT in the staging of oral cavity tumors and comparing CECT staging to MRI staging. This study is a prospective cross-sectional study with an age group of adults. It was done in MMI-MSR, Mulana. The study was done from between uh, January 2021 to December 2021 and the sample size was of 18. Inclusion criteria includes clinically suspected individuals and all the adults. Exclusion criteria includes pregnant females, those allergic to contrast, those with medical renal disease and patients less than 20 years of age. In this study, 18 patients with strong clinical suspicion of CA of oral cavity were referred for CCT of the oral cavity. CT protocol includes plain CT axial sections with puffed cheek technique starting from skull base to sternal notch with 60 to 70 ml iohexol or IV contrast was given. Recon slice thickness includes 1.25 mm and 3 mm axial and 3 mm coronal. The MRI sequences include T2 weighted axial DWI axial and STIR axial sequences. U using CECT and MRI, TNM staging results of oral cavity malignancy were compared with histopathological staging results obtained after incisional or excisional biopsy. The CECT axial image at the level of mandible shows irregular thickening of the left buccal mucosa. In these images, we can see there is a regular thickening of left buccal mucosa extending anteriorly from left first molar to remus of left mandible posteriorly. There is erosion of adjacent mandible with extension in its marrow cavity. Subtle extension is also seen in left retromolar trigone and the lesion is showing heterogeneous enhancement on post-contrast images. Then we come to the results. Following are the CCT's predictive validity for each of the TNM staging criteria with 100% positive predictive value in cortical bone involvement, maxillary sinus involvement and lymph node detection and approximately 70% positive predictive value in deep muscle of tongue involvement and 72% in skin of face involvement and 69% in masticator space involvement. Then below is the MRI predictive validity for each of the staging criteria used in TNM staging with 100% positive predictive value in maxillary sinus involvement, skin of face involvement and lymph node detection with 94% PPV in cortical bone involvement, 97% positive predictive value in deep muscle of tongue involvement and 90% in masticator space involvement. Then we come to observation and discussion. Study participants with adjacent cortical bone erosion were identified in 4 out of 18 cases and CECT detected the involvement of, in all the 4 cases with 100% sensitivity and specificity. MRI showed deep tongue muscle involvement in 3 patients and CECT identified involvement in 2 patients with a sensitivity of 74.7% and specificity of 68.4%. Involvement of maxillary sinus was detected on CECT with 100% sensitivity and specificity. On MRI, facial skin involvement was observed in 3 patients of which CECT identified the involvement in 2 patients with a sensitivity of 81.8% and specificity of 79.9%. Involvement of masticator space was detected in CECT with a sensitivity of 72.5% and specificity of 70%. On MRI, lymph nodes were detected in 4 patients of which CCT also detected all the 4 patients showing similarity in size criteria with a sensitivity and specificity of 100%.
There was concordance of CACT statistical equivalence with histopathological staging. CACT is the first choice of investigation in rural areas and reliable information of the involvement of bone, maxillary sinus, skin and lymph node is provided. Now we come to the conclusion. Oral cavity malignancy is a common cancer in India. Treatment depends entirely on the tumor staging. CCT proves to be a reliable and accurate staging method. CCT has advantages of wider availability, higher compliance and lower cost. The analysis of our study revealed good levels of sensitivity and specificity of CCT when assessing the staging criteria used for oral cavity cancers and floor of mouth and tongue are better evaluated by MRI. Thank you everyone.